Hi, I'm Dave with Coach House, and today we're going to be showing you the Garmin system on the Fords. Okay, we're going to start in the upper left hand corner. This item right here is the trailer brake module. If you have a trailer equipped with brakes, this is how you change your settings, increase or decrease the amount of drag you have on your trailer. Right next to that, we have the microphone that's tied into the Garmin radio for using your cell phone while you're driving for hands free purposes. And we're going to move over to the far right now. Over here we have the factory auxiliary. This is now obsolete. Your new auxiliary port is right below the radio and it has a 2.1 amp USB charger as well. This USB port is also a peripheral device for updating your Garmin system. You just simply go to GarminUSA.com and download the updated maps. Okay, now on to the Garmin system itself. In the upper left hand corner we have the music. On the music screen we're going to go through the options. Right here, this is your power button if you were to hold it down, but if you tap it, it is just your mute. As you see, I've unmuted the coach and now the volume works. Using the volume, up or down, and you are allowed to control zones. Zone 1 is the cab, zone 2 is the rear of the coach. You just tap the power button again to mute it and you're good to go and it takes you back to your navigation screen. You have AM, FM, Sirius XM, auxiliary, and Bluetooth. Now in order to connect a Bluetooth device, you will need to go into the upper left hand corner onto what we call the hamburger. Now under there you will then select discoverable. On your smart device you will then search for R BT 600 and that is the name of this radio. You connect to that and you will then be synced and you will no longer have to reconnect. It will automatically connect every time. Back to the main menu. If you are in tow and you have a vehicle behind you and you wish to see what is behind you, you simply tap the camera button in the bottom left. It will display your camera options. Our cameras come with sound. If you have someone in the back just instructing you, simply tap the camera mic on and you are now able to hear anything behind you. And simply tap it again to turn it off. Going back to the home screen, in the center we have where to. This is our navigation system. Here you have your go home, your address, and all your saved, recent, and categories on the right hand side. The go home option will pre-program a home setting that you desire and will automatically save it and you tap go home and it'll go back In to home. one quarter mile, turn right on Knights Trail Road. Below that we have restaurants, attractions, and shopping. You can add your own shortcuts if you like, making them any destination you wish. Back to the view map option. Under the view map, on the right hand bottom corner, you have the small hamburger again. This gives you your options for elevation, what's up ahead, to change the volume, and to stop the navigation completely if you wish to choose another address. Now moving on to the bottom left or the right hand corner, we have the phone. This is once you've connected Bluetooth, you can now control your phone options. Uh, it's not connected at the moment, so we won't be able to access that. In the upper right hand corner you have the settings. This is where you go to update your maps and it explains to you how to update them. Simply connect your device computer using a USB cable, go to Garmin.com Express and follow the on-screen instructions. Below that you have the vehicle profile. And below the vehicle profile, you have the navigation route preferences to change your avoidances, such as no U-turns, no highways, toll roads, ferries, and so on and so forth. And you can add custom avoidances as well. You can add avoid an area or avoid a type of road, depending on your preferences. Going back to the main menu now. Now this, I want to show you, is a tablet as well. You can remove the screen. And once it's removed, you now have the option to use an Android style applications. You have browser, calculator, calendar, clock and downloads, you can make a to-do list, your media, you can load pictures, check email, watch video from video players. 
Now on the Garmin, you can set up voice commands. You can have... Say a command. And these are your voice commands. Your voice commands will allow you to view map, find a place, find category, and all of these. To get out of this, simply tap the exit button and it'll take you back home. This is a magnetic device. It simply goes right back into the cradle. When it is in the cradle, you will not be able to access the applications menu. In the upper right hand corner, there is a power button for the menu itself. You can turn the screen off. Now the radio is still on, but you don't have to have the screen on while you're using it. All your options are still illuminated on the bottom. Skip, play, pause, and back, volume up and down, and your home menu. In order to restore the menu, simply tap the power button, go back through the agreement, and you are home now. Well, hopefully I've helped you out with any questions you may have. If you have any more, feel free to give us a call here at Coach House at 1-800-235-0984 and just ask for Dave.